Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic split screen effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. So I have three clips on my timeline. First, I'm going to disable video layers two and three so I can focus only on the first clip. Then I'll move forward in the timeline to the point where I want the split screen to begin. At this point, I'll add keyframes for both the position and cropping settings. Next, move the playhead ahead a few frames. Now, I'll go to the crop left setting and start cropping from the left side first. Then, I'll adjust the crop right to fine tune it, making sure the main subject stays clearly visible in the frame. After that, I'll use the position parameter to shift the clip and align it to one side of the screen, making sure it fills exactly half the frame. I'll make some slight adjustments here to get it to fit perfectly. Now I'll hit play to preview the changes and check if everything is working the way I want. Next, I'll enable video layer 2. Now I'm going to crop this clip in a way that highlights the logo as the main subject, just like we did with the first clip. Using the crop left and crop right settings, I'll remove the unwanted parts from both sides until only the area around the logo remains clearly visible. Then I'll reposition the clip so it fills the other half of the screen. Make sure to adjust it properly so the main subject, like the logo, is clearly noticeable and well framed. Once that's done, it's time to animate the clip to bring it into the split screen smoothly. Now I'll bring the playhead back to the start. Then I'll move clip 2 completely out of the screen. This sets it up for the animation. Next, I'll move the playhead forward and stop at the point where the first clip starts to shift into its half screen position. At this point, I'll create a keyframe for the position parameter on clip 2. Now I'll move the playhead forward frame by frame. As soon as I notice a blank area appearing on the screen, I'll start adjusting the position to move clip 2 in and fill that empty space. I'll keep moving the playhead forward, one frame at a time, and slowly adjust clip 2's position. As the blank space appears, I'll slide clip 2 in to cover it step by step, until the entire empty area is filled and both clips are sitting perfectly side by side. Now I'll play through the video to check if everything looks smooth and make sure there are no blank spaces left between the clips. Now I'm going to create a horizontal split screen. To do that, I'll first trim clip 2. This way, the keyframes I added earlier won't affect anything that comes later in the timeline. Next, drag the playhead forward and set a keyframe for both position and cropping. Then move the playhead ahead a few frames and use crop top and crop bottom to adjust the clip so it fits into the bottom half of the screen. It's the same process we used earlier for the first clip, just rotated for a horizontal layout. Now I'll play the clip to check if everything looks good so far. Next, I'll enable clip 3. With the clip selected, I'll zoom out or reduce its size so that it fits perfectly into the blank area left on the screen. Now I'll move clip 3 out of the screen to prepare for the animation. Then I'll go a few frames back and create a keyframe for the position parameter. From here, I'll follow the same steps as before. Each time a blank area appears, I'll reposition clip 3 to slowly fill that space until it fits perfectly. Now I'll hit play to see how the final effect looks and make sure everything flows smoothly. Now let's add some borders that follow the animation to make the split screen look cleaner. I'll start by adding a new video track between video layer 1 and video layer 2. Next, I'll open the effects panel and go to the generators section. From there, I'll find solid color and drag it onto the new video track we just created. With the solid color selected, I'll go to the settings tab and adjust the zoom level to resize it. Just enough to create a thin, clean borderline on the screen. I'll also change the color to white so the border stands out better and is clearly visible against the video. I'll decrease the thickness of the border a bit since it feels a little too bold right now. Now, I'm going to place the borderline just outside the screen and set a keyframe for the position parameter. Then, as the clip moves into place, I'll adjust the border's position frame by frame so it follows the same path, just like we did earlier with the video clips. You can follow the same steps to create a border for the other half of the screen as well. Just adjust the direction and position based on your layout. And that's it. Hope this helped you create clean, animated split screens in DaVinci Resolve. Sorry if it felt like a bit of a drag. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more, and don't forget to tap the bell.